There's two missions in 30 minutes, that's... Alright, I suppose. The next one back with soap now, all right? All friendly call signs. We are no longer on the defensive. I repeat, consolidate and counterattack. This is ODA Foxtrot. The Russians are disengaging. We got them on their heels. Beyond the jagged edges of war, there were still Russians who rejected Makarov's lunacy. Men willing to stand against the tide. Price, we've got vital signs, but they're weak. Soap won't last without proper attention. He's a hard bastard. Trust me, he'll make it. We're picking up inbound signatures. We've got company. It's Makarov. He's tying up loose ends. Who's your best man? Yuri. Ex Spitznaz. Only man I know who. I accidentally skipped that cutscene because I tried to pause it because I was interrupted. I apologize. But pretty much, Yuri. It's a helicopter. Ow. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to hit him, but I can't do some shit. Alright. So I'm trying to do, but I'm shit at aiming because of the dead zone, like I explained, so I'm gonna bitch about that the whole game. Until I get used to it and then just start aiming fine again. I take I take that for granted, not gonna lie, since I've been playing Modern Warfare. I have to say, Modern Warfare, there's not... The only criticism I have of it is that you can't do the main Spec Ops missions. Okay. Nice oh, shit. I'm trying to... Yeah. Is that you don't have solo on the main co-op, which I really wanted to do. Because I don't have friends, I don't want to do it with randoms. You don't do fucking shit like that with randoms. Oh, Deagle. About this. Do I do AK or do I do M4? Nah, I'll do AK. Four. Oh no, that's a G3060. AK. Yeah. Spice 12 4 grip. Alright. Get the fuck out of the way. Alright, cool. Oh no, grenade, fuck. That is my biggest enemy in any Call of Duty campaign, it's just grenades. Anyone who's ever played it just knows what I mean. Get myself a nice little collection of playthroughs going. Like I said, the only two left to do this, Ghost. And I guess I have to do uh, Advanced Warfare just to make it thingy. I've done World War 2. Oh, I did like that game as well. I forgot about that one. Yeah, that one I played a lot of. I have a gold sniper and a gold shotgun on that. The gold shotgun I pretty much exclusively used uh, a shipment 1944 because it was just just so perfect. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, I don't know how they were just immune to those bullets then, but... Okay. Yeah, I know. I always wonder, right? We're meant to be, like, sort of outlaws in this game right now. Well, that was... That was a waste of time, wasn't it? Well, um... Yeah, we were supposed to be outlaws. I always wonder how we get the weapons and the men. That's what I'm always curious about. 
Oh no, I'm gonna die. Well, I'm not, but... It always makes you look a lot more worse than it actually is. Well... That's the thing I'm scared of as well. Ah, fuck's sake. It would be like... Your, your normal, 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 and then one shot hits you and suddenly you're like, inch from death. It's like, fuck. Fuck's sake. Oh no, fuck. Alright, that's all done. You die, thank you. Alright, let's go in here, let's sort this shit out. Eat that, because I know there'll be someone in there in a sec. Oh, okay, apparently he didn't eat that. I'm going to empty the entirety of the mag into him and get as far away as possible. Give him a flash, because... I don't like risking my life. Ah, oh, shit. Eat that. Also eat that for good measure. Also, fuck, I didn't see that dude. Or that dude. Well, I should pay a bit more attention. I just kicked my Xbox controller off. I'm currently resting my feet on my Xbox One. That's how shit my setup is. But the only way to be comfortable is to put my feet on my prized possessions. That's brilliant. Who the fuck? I never hit anyone. Flinch is also my second worst enemy in this game. In this game specifically, Flinch just fucks me off. Alright, well this was pointless and dead end. Oh no, that's a okay, well I didn't kill him. Someone else did. Alright, I saw some petchin eggs there. Yeah, that's what they call the PKP petchin eggs. Is it petch or is it peach? I used to call them the peach LMGs because I thought I was funny. Yeah, which one was surrounded? <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, you shut your shop. Thank you. Okay, I'm going this way, right? Fuck you. How would you even notice that? I was like trying to figure out how the fuck we get down there. I see it. Unmanned ground vehicle. Two centimeter armor plating, mounted minigun, and grenade launcher. The controls are gonna be in Russian. Yuri, you're up. Nikolai, what's Soap's condition? We've gotta get him out of here! Alright. Oh, he's doing fire grenades. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm like Wally, but Russian edition. By the way, they will just run, carry on running into the open. It takes like eight of them dying to get into cover. Fuck you. And your truck. Oh, hello. Well, that, that was easy. I forget, I'm not a veteran, so I need to worry about dying so much on this. Because this was a pain in the ass on veteran. Literally, you take two shots and you're within an inch of dying. Oh, you guys are over here again. Fuck you. Wow. You guys are morons.
Oh, I'm protecting the truck, but not blowing it up. Okay. Thank you. Where am I again? Well, maybe they, they... Yeah, they must have flown to a different place. This isn't the same. Let's say it must be the same country or whatever as the last mission of MW2, but that's not necessarily true. So they got on a helicopter and for some reason, even though I'm pretty sure you can't really do that in a helicopter, in Call of Duty they seem to do helicopter rides across countries, which is, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about this bit. Fuck your tree. Do I have to shoot anyone? Oh yeah, I fall in the... I fall in the river, then I? Shit. Oh no. And I land face first as well. Don't even know which way is up. Fucking hell, man. Soap's back. That's a good sign. They say truth is the first casualty of war. But who defines what's true? of every soldier is to protect the innocent and sometimes that means preserving the lie of good and evil that war isn't just natural selection played out on a grand scale but for now it looks like the world may finally know peace the only truth huh. i've found is that the world we live in is a giant tinderbox all it takes is someone to light the match andre harkov i protect president with five seven no better gun than that, because for some reason we only use pistol. We're protecting president in wartime and we still only use pistol, because we're stupid. Hello. Right. Oh shit, it's the daughter. What's her name again? Alina. Why you not have Russian accent? No one does. That's why he's good at his job. What will you tell him? The truth. He won't hold to hear it. He has no choice. I'm the president. That's not how life works. I'll see you at dinner. Mr. President. Vasily. Is it? Is it? On purpose that that guy kind of looks like Vasily Klitschko. Not Vasily Klitschko, um, Vitaly Klitschko. Gentlemen, looks a little bit like it, maybe not. Choices. Peace or war, life or death, for the sake of our children, we must seek peace <sighs> with the West. Mr. President, now is not the time to appease our enemies. We destroy our enemies when we make friends with them. If we cannot end our differences, at least... That's gunfire! Look, I get out my 5-7. 
I remember this spec ops mission, that was fun.